You guys requested it, so here it is, my blow dryer tutorial. If you want to see how I turn my crazy curly frizzy hair into this shiny silky hair, keep watching. Important disclaimer before we start, a good haircut is the half of the work of a good blowout. So this is my natural curly hair. I just washed it with this shampoo. It's an Ayurvedic shampoo, but to be honest, it's nothing special. It just does the trick of cleaning my hair. Afterwards, I applied this salon conditioner, which is amazing because it really moisturizes my hair, makes it easy to smoothen up with a blow dryer. Also, when I rinse the conditioner, I just rinse half of it and leave half of the conditioner in my hair. So I'm just gonna start off with sectioning my hair this is the lower layer and I'm going to part this layer in half as well the next step is spraying this layer with this Aussie miracle recharge take the heat conditioning spray wow that's a really long name <laughs> anyways this spray keeps my hair from drying out from the heat and getting split ends also I've noticed when I use this spray and I'm outside in humid weather my hair tends to stay smooth instead of curling up the next thing I do is section the hair in half again grab a big blow dry brush and put it on top of the strand of hair now roll the hair upwards around the brush grab your blow dryer the nozzle is really important because it points all the air in one direction then I start blow drying on medium heat with full power so this is really important this is the blow dry technique blow dry the bottom first make sure the roots are dry and then flip your blow dryer to the top and start blow drying from the top because if you don't do this the bottom of the roots won't get enough heat and it will just start curling up with any humidity when you feel the hair is dry pull the brush a little bit more down polishing the hair when you're at the end of the strand of hair just pull the brush down a little bit and roll it back up you can do this a couple of times polishing the ends of your hair and making them so amazingly soft and shiny because my hair is quite long and I also blow dry when my hair is quite wet it's never completely dry on the first go so I just repeat the process put the brush on top of the hair roll up the hair and start blow drying from the bottom just pull the brush down slowly and usually in two goes my hair is dry the slower you go the better in my experience because if you pull the brush down too fast you'll be at the end of the strand and the strand of hair will still not be dry and then you have to do it again and again and again and it just pays off time wise to do this more slowly if you have foam rollers I don't have them this would be the time to roll your hair around the foam roller and let it cool down I don't have them so I just polish my hair extra with a brush and let it cool off like this continue with this technique until the lowest layer is completely dry and polished the next thing I'm going to do is section off the middle layer and first I divide my hair in half and then I make like two more layers on each side so once again I spray the conditioner in my hair and it's particularly important to spray the little hairs in the front because they're the ones that frizz the easiest section off the hair into two pieces and repeat the blow drying technique so grab a brush put it on top of the hair roll the hair up around the brush and grab your blow dryer start blow drying at the bottom and then flip to the top once the bottom is dry roll the brush down slowly once you're blow drying and just make sure the hair is dry before you roll it a little bit more down just remember the most time efficient way to do this is to go slow just don't forget to polish the ends extra with a brush if you don't have foam rollers like me and then it looks like this so I finished off the left side of the hair and we're going right into the grand finale now the top layer you can see my hair is getting super curly because it dried up in the meantime once again I start off with spraying the conditioner onto my hair I always pay a little bit more attention to the top layer because this is like the icing on the cake of your blowout section the hair into three pieces and start blow drying with the piece of hair in the back once you finished off the back and the middle layer we're going to get started with the cherry the front so it's the same blow dry technique put the brush on top of the hair roll the hair up and start blow drying from the bottom here it's really really important to blow dry from the bottom because 
this is the hair that will get frizzy the fastest the more you roll the brush to polish the hair the more curl you will get at the end this is not a technique to get big curls in your hair it's just to make the hair wavy and at the end this is what my hair looks like as you can see in the meantime the other side of my hair already frizzed up a bit and it started curling but there's a really easy way to fix it just grab your brush and polish the hair if it curled up too much then just grab your conditioning spray make it a little bit wet and blow dry it one more time so this takes me about 40 to 60 minutes once a week when I wash my hair and the other days I just comb my hair to the front put it in a top bun go to sleep and the next day I take out the bun brush my hair with my fingers maybe you want to polish it a little bit more with a brush and then it looks like this it lasts me about a week before my hair gets too greasy and I just have to wash it again if you like this video please put a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more videos thank you for watching and see you next time